We're back as promised with a controversial idea for one of this nation's great treasures and top destination every time of year at around this time of year. The National Park Service wants to make Yosemite a road less traveled, reducing congestion and closing some popular concessions in high traffic areas. NBC's Harry Smith went to Yosemite to see how close we're really coming to loving a national park to death. If you're lucky, you'll get to spend some time in a national park this summer. Maybe you'll make it to Yosemite. Ancient glaciers polished the great granite cliffs of Yosemite into a powerful sight. None who see it ever forget it. Yosemite is a place so incredible. Congress approved the money to preserve and protect it during the threadbare years of the Civil War. A half a century later, John Muir, the man who founded the Sierra Club, brought Teddy Roosevelt here and convinced him to expand the park and turn it into a national park. They'd be stunned to see that four million visitors come here every year. That's double the number from just 30 years ago. We have too many people here as it is. So the Park Service wants to reduce traffic congestion. And because it's been designated a wild and scenic river, give the 81 miles of the Merced, which runs through the park, more space. And that means doing away with or moving a number of the concessions, bike rental, horseback rides, and rafting. They also plan to close two swimming pools. Local Congressman Tom McClintock thinks it's a bad idea. What they're saying is they're going to move the amenities from the area where people frequent and move them to areas where people don't go. Thanks a lot. Yosemite is caught between a rock and a hard place, if you will. And here's the problem. The park is the size of the state of Rhode Island, but most people only use a tiny sliver of it, and that sliver feels an enormous impact. Environmentalists like Greg Adair say the park needs to do much more. Somehow we keep getting plans that walk around those issues and, and don't really face them squarely. How to preserve a place that means so much to so many people is no easy task. Ranger Scott Gediman has worked in Yosemite for 17 years. We want to make sure that the plan reflects what people want because when it's all said and done, the national parks belong to the American people. After all, what's at stake is merely the fate of a priceless national treasure.